Hello there and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are going to be going over Unit 6, Topic 5, Adulthood and Aging. As we continue to age, we start to see different physical and mental capabilities start to diminish. Now, I realize this isn't the most uplifting way to start a video, but it's reality. As we get older, our reaction time goes down, our fluid intelligence starts to decline, which remember is our ability to quickly process information. We also see a loss of muscle strength, along with other changes as well. Now, while no one can stop these changes from occurring, there are different things that can be done to help reduce the immediate impact and slow some of the aging elements. When people exercise, eat healthy, and keep their minds active, it helps reduce the speed of aging. Now this isn't to say that it stops it, but it can help in maintaining brain development and those important neural connections. Some studies have found that when adults exercise, it helps enhance memory and reduces the risk of significant cognitive decline. Exercise and eating healthy reduce brain shrinkage and promote new nerve cells in the hippocampus. During adulthood, individuals will often get married Married, take on a career, purchase a home, travel, and much more. It's hard to specifically point to a certain age or range of ages as to when different life events will happen, since it's different for each individual. For example, it used to be that people got married in their early 20s. Now the average in the United States is pushing into a person's 30s. We can look back at Eric Erickson's stages of development to gain a better sense of the different stages that an individual will go through during their adulthood. Remember, we have been talking about these stages throughout this unit. Each stage is defined by a conflict and builds from the previous previous stage. We last talked about this model in our last video where we looked at identity versus role confusion. After identity and role confusion, we move into intimacy versus isolation. This is when people will traditionally look for a career and find a partner to be intimate with. Significant life events may include advancing up in one's career, starting a business, getting married, or starting a family. The focus in this stage is on love and commitment. If an individual is not able to find something they are passionate about, they may feel isolated and disconnected from society. Next is generativity versus stagnation which is when an individual's focus changes on trying to guide the next generation. Oftentimes, parenting is an important event during this stage. Individuals will also focus on giving back to the community or pursuing work or hobbies that contribute to the greater good or support their family. If an individual still does not feel like they have a purpose, this could lead to an individual to feel stuck in life. They may start to feel hopeless or question what they've done with their life. This could lead to an individual doing a big life change, such as a career change or purchasing some big items. This is sometimes referred to as a midlife crisis. Crisis. The last stage is integrity versus despair. What happens here kind of depends on the previous stages. This is when an individual will often reflect on their life and hopefully have little to no regrets. If an individual has many regrets, they may look back on their life with sadness and may struggle more with the concept of death. They may feel like they have not done enough yet and they still have to accomplish more. When looking at all of Eric Erickson's stages of development, we can see that throughout an individual's life, as people grow older, the stages become more complex and integrated with each other. Every stage has a conflict and while we all experience life from our own lens and will experience our own life events in our own way, we can use these stages to better understand different transitions and milestones people may go through. Now comes the time to practice what we've learned. Answer the questions on the screen right now and check your answers in the comments section down below. As always, make sure you check out my ultimate review packet. It has resources for every single unit of AP Psychology, and it'll definitely help you get an A in your class and a 5 on that national exam. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.